good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about uh, difference between swirl and turbulence so many students are getting confused they are thinking that both are similar but they are different to each other there is a lot of difference between them in si engines we call it as turbulence in ca engine we call it as swirl turbulence means uh, in si engine especially turbulence in place the disordered air movement with no general direction of flow with no general direction of flow it, all, it will go as it wants so that such a movement is called turbulence and swirl means uh, swirl in place an orderly movement of air with a particular direction of flow to bring a continuous supply of fresh air to each burning droplet and sweep away the products of combustion which otherwise would suffocate it this means for example through the nozzle the moment a fuel is entering into the combustion chamber it interact with the air and you now this fuel completely this fuel droplets are surrounded by air so that whenever it is burning it easily takes oxygen from the air and easily burning if for example if there is no general direction of the air then the you know product after burning some amount of you know some amount of fuel is burning after some amount of fuel is burning you know uh, products release these products are also there in the combustion chamber and they will suffocate the you know upcoming uh, fluid particles that that will disturb the you know burning process so in order to avoid that situation we have to supply that swirl not uh, turbulence because you know in case of si engine there is no problem because this is homogeneous mixer but in case of ca engine this is not homogeneous mixer now the fuel is now just it is now it is entering so if we have to supply we have to supply the desired you know orderly movement of the air if we supply desired movement of air so that you know the combustion is not completed incomplete combustion will come so in order to avoid that situation we have to supply the swirl not a turbulence you know for example if with no air swirl for example this is the droplets from the fuel in you know injector that is called nozzle through the nozzle the droplets are coming and you know if with no air swirl the products of combustion are surrounded by this one so that means the products of combustion are surrounded by this, this means uh, this fluid particles are this uh, fuel particles are not getting oxygen they are not burning so they are not participate in the combustion so they remain as it is and they go in the exhaust without participating in the combustion that that has to reduce by the help of swirl supply of fresh air to burning droplet because of with air swirl if I, if i supply swirl you know that means if i supply you know fresh air to burning droplets for example this is burning droplet if i supply the fresh air this will this you know this fresh air is sub- sent to the uh, you know burning droplet so that this burning droplets is taking oxygen so that it will complete its you know burning process and you know and sweep away the products of combustion in addition to this duty this oxygen this this fresh air has to sweep away the products of combustion so that is why if products of combustion also here so these burning droplets are affected so the combustion is not com- not completed so it become problem so that's why with air swirl you know this fresh air is entering to the and this fresh air is supplied to the burning droplets and this fresh air is utilized to sweep away the products of combustion thank you very much